Hello everyone, and welcome to my new review of the 1980 movie Zombie Holocaust. Zombie Holocaust is directed by Marino Giolami, or I have it called his name, right? And the part of the film is an, ex an, an exhibition in the, in the East Indies encounter not only the cannibal they are looking for, but but and also an evil Saunders and his and his um zombie army. Take like all previous reviews or take about likes, disappoint and dislikes. Okay, of some of the likes. There's not much to really say about like, so now we'll just get into it. There are a lot of bloody kills in this film. I mean, bloody. Now it can get really, you know, cannibals, you know, killing people. And they, like, slash their throat and then put the organ and it's just eating the people. At the start of the movie, we encounter a it looks like a cannibal opened the corpse and he's just eating the gut out of the corpse. He plans to eat death. One of the first um, main actor, Peter O'Neill, George Harper, you know, he gets his throat cut and he gets um, his, his intestines and guts all pulled out and so he's getting eaten. Two um, guides who are, I guess, Vietnamese, you know, who can't speak English, they get killed as well. And they get one of them gets his stomach ripped over and got to get it in as well. How did his foot get slashed? And we see a scalping and, and a head, a scalp gets removed, exposing a woman's brain. Well, that's all, all I can really can say about the dislikes. The, uh, the like sign. The disappointment is is how the how the how this movie goes. The title is Zombie Holocaust. But it's really no real zombies until the third act. And they just don't even do nothing really. I mean one of the zombies get killed by a motor and his head get splattered all over the place. That's the only one real thing we will see. What if the zombie does? What happened to a zombie? It's more cannibals attacking people. I don't know why, you know, this movie is called Zombie Holocaust. It's about a mad scientist, more or less, who works on dead bodies to change them to an army of zombies. We encounter him at the end of the movie. His name is, his you know, full name is Dr. Butcher, they call him, played by Donald O'Brien. He, he got a um, assistant by the name of Moroto, played by Daka. He's, um, he, he's on expedition with, with the rest of the people. You know, he's more like playing games and taking to Long Island to eventually where they're supposed to go. He's the assistant of, you know, the, the mad scientist Dr. Butcher. Yeah, he, he gets his demise as well, which was pretty cool. You know, he got his throat slashed open. 
Ja, aber die kann schon die dicke Bombe da durch Film. Ich möchte wie der Jerk Ding nein, der Jerk Ding nein. Very bad lip syncing, because this look like it was actually filmed in Italian and and yeah, I'm dubbed it into English. But due to the very bad lip syncing, the words of the of the dummy don't hit the words and it's really and the lap you look really stupid. And the movie just goes all over the place. You know, the, the, the zombies just absolutely look, absolutely look ridiculous. You know, and how does they moan, groaning, and... I can't believe how bad they actually look. Some of the best looking zombies I ever seen in a movie. And they don't even act like zombies. They don't even kill anyone. While well, one of them, they try attack one person. And that's the zombie that you know, your head Minutes open with a um, boat murder. The um, the are okay, decent score, but I find could have been a lot better. And as I can remember, hit the movie very well. And the story was just wasn't good at all. The shots in New York and. You know, bizarre things were happening, like body parts in a hospital go missing, and and these weird symbols show up, and it can lead to you know where they're going, which is the West Indies, and more of these symbols start popping up and stuff. The most bizarre, pretty bad stories I've seen in an in a Italian movie. You know, the story part of the worst thing about it, as well as the directing and the acting and the script and also the really bad lip syncing. When it comes to um, the final vote of the film, you know, it, um, the, the big thing is the go and the go and kills, it's the only real good thing about the film. And I mean, I like gore movies and for me, they look the only real thing of the film with, you know, for waving, raving on about. You know, the, the rest of, no matter, when it comes to the disappointment you mentioned, you know, they should have called it like Cannibal Holocaust or something else, or original, or the original, check the original US name, which was Dr. Butcher, but that actually, what they, what the story eventually gets into, a mad scientist who creates an army of zombies. And that's basically what it is. And, you know, zombies and sorry, cannibals and just killing people. Really, not much of a plot to it, really. And that, yeah, well, uh, I didn't thought much of this movie at all. And, I can't get the movie no more than a 2 out of 10. Thank you for checking out my movie review of the 1980 Zombie Holocaust. If you like what you see, give me a like. And if you see this movie, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, great. Join the family and subscribe to my channel.